All right, uh, let's look at the following uh, inequality question here. All right, so we have this in, uh, inequality, and we want to find uh, all the values that uh, satisfy the inequality. All right, uh, we could possibly um, just uh, plug in uh, each and check uh, individually, but uh, that will be way too much work. So uh, let's try to simplify the inequality first so that we can make the decision on each, uh, each value uh, uh, more easily. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so uh, since I don't like a fraction, so what I would do is I'm going to multiply uh, both sides by 2. So what we do is multiply this uh, left-hand side by 2 and multiply the right-hand side by 2, right? Then what happens is uh, we can uh, cancel out the 2 on top and 2 on the bottom. So uh, we end up with... Uh, 7x uh, plus 6, right? Since so we are multiplying by a positive constant, uh, the direction of inequality stays the same, right? Then uh, we distribute 2 to uh, 3x. Then you would get uh, 3x times 2, so that would be 6x. And plus... I'm going to distribute the 2 to the second term inside the parentheses. So you have a 2 times 2 is 4. All right? All right, now uh, we want to collect uh, x terms. So I'm going to try to put the, all the x terms on the left-hand side. So we, we would want to uh, move this guy, uh, move uh, 6x over to the left-hand side. To do that, uh, we, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, subtract uh, 6x from both sides. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. All right, 7x minus 6x would be just x. Right, uh, 6 uh, stays, and then inequality stays the same. So 6x minus 6x is 0, so it goes away. Then we still have 4 there. Right, so now we could put we could collect all the x terms uh, to the left hand side. All right, and I'm going to put all the constant terms uh, to the right hand side. So I'm going to just uh, put this guy over to the other side. All right, how do we do that? Uh, we can simply uh, subtract six from both sides of the inequality. So x stays uh, six minus six zero. The direction of the inequality stays the same, and then 4 minus 6 would be negative 2. All right? So any x value uh, less than or equal to negative 2 uh, would satisfy this inequality. All right? So uh, let's uh, let's find that. All right? So let's try a. Uh, x is negative 3, so negative 3 is definitely smaller than negative 2. So we would be we would choose that one. And x equals negative 2, negative 2 is less than equal to negative 2, so it would satisfy that. But once you have uh, negative 1, uh, it's too big, 0 is too big, 1 is too big, 2 is too big, 3 is too big. And uh, those are the two x values that satisfy the original inequality. All right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.